let's try this again. So my book, my my, I started a whole video and it started. It stopped with this new fancy phone that I have. But anywho, I missed you. It is I, it is me, the sheep, pure wisdom, and I come to provide you with your wisdom nugget for today. Um, as I was going about my day, um, I went to my daughter's school and I propped her in exam. Um, I monitored and I watched over a child while this child was taking um, a very important exam um, for their education. And in that room, you, when you're proctoring, you're not able to have um, your cell phone or anything to distract the child. So being that I was in school, I was at the school, there was a book in the room. There were many books in the room, but the book that led me, that spoke to me and was like, pick me up, <laughs> was the book titled The Secret Guardian. And that book is by Francis Hodges Burnett. Um, I remember this book as a little child. I remember reading this book. It is extremely old, um, but the wisdom in the book and behind the book is, is very, very, very present. So um, I grabbed the book, and before I began reading the book, the very first script, the scripture that came to me was 2 Corinthians, verse 10, chapter 2. And it says, But I beg you, that when I am present, I may not be bold with that confidence by which I intend to be bold against some who think of us as if we walked according to the flesh. So that Bible scripture, 2 Corinthians 10 and 2, is extremely powerful and it's so fitting with um, the book that came across me that I came across. Um, but let me reread the scripture to you again. It is 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 2. And it says, but I beg you that when I am present, I may not be bold with that confidence by which I intend to be bold against some who think of us as if we walked according to the flesh. That is a very deep and powerful, powerful statement um, scripture that it's so fitting for the book that I was reading. And it was literally given to me. Um, but... The Secret Garden. What is The Secret Garden about? The Secret Garden is about this young girl named Mary. Um, Mary parents. Um, her father was a British king um, in England and her mother was just this royal queen that was enjoying the benefits of living a royal lifestyle um so she didn't have time for her daughter nor did the father have time for her their daughter mary either because he was busy ruling his land ruling his area so mary was set aside when mary was born they gave clear instructions to the servants um in their home to um watch mary put mary far away keep her occupied um but don't let her get in our way so Mary. Um, Mary was put in this room and she was literally left the fence for herself. Um, she had servants that came and checked in on her periodically, but um, have a good day. Um, but they had many, she had many, 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 many challenges. Um, and the challenges was she was isolated. Not only was she isolated, but she was overindulged with material things. But because she was born into royalty, she had all the material things that she needed, um, all the material things that she wanted. But she didn't have the most important thing. She didn't have the most powerful thing, and that was her parents. Um, our parents and our leaders tend to um, mold us, and the people that's around us and that watch over us tend to teach us certain ways and teach us certain things. So Mary was left with just these servants that was going to give her. And the servants really didn't pay any attention to her because they were servants. Um, they were to work. Um, that was just one of their jobs, looking after Mary. But they had many. So... Um, Kind of some of the things that stood out to me in the book. I didn't read a lot of it, um, but what stood out to me in the book was um, Mary was watched after three main people. And it was Martha, um, Mrs. Sowerby, and Mr. Dickon. They helped her see herself through the jadedness of her environment um they were very powerful and the thing that comes to me there were three people um three people and three the number is three is significant three is the um in the christian community the father the son the holy spirit um in the catholic community it is the holy trinity um again the father the son the holy spirit it's just labeled and and, and um 
worded differently through, throughout different religions, but the power of three. The power of three, knowing who you are, knowing whose you are, and really standing in that. Um, Mary um, used that secret garden as her outlet. She was able to go to the secret garden, and inside of that secret garden, it spoke that uh, it was wick and insight. She was wick inside of that garden. The word wick, um, what, what the definition of the word wick in that story, secret garden, was to be alive and lively. Um, the secret garden brought her to life. The net, the natural uh, world of our God, our most high creator, brought Mary to life, put Mary inside of herself, allowed Mary to see something far greater than what she was. Um, in that same garden, further into the um, further into the story she had a cousin she had a cousin that was ill and her cousin colin um he was ill um he had many challenges but it was when mary took colin into the secret garden that he was able to be healed <laughs> that's amazing so your wisdom nugget <laughs> your wisdom nugget for today <sighs> secret garden be mindful um uh, because we are assigned to people, uh, most importantly children. We are assigned to children and, and children are our future and we have to mold them, we have to nourish them, uh, we have to nurture them with the fruits of life, with the fruits of um, God, the eternal essence of all there is, the most high creator. And if we don't do that, we neglect to send them out in the world to kind of fend for themselves. Now, fending for yourself can be a little bit harder, um, but why make it harder when you have someone that you can pour into or when you have the wisdom that you need to pour into the, our children so i say to you the children that has been out to you the children that has been given to you what are you doing are you pouring nourishment are you nurturing them are you giving them the tools that they need to excel in this life are you giving them the most important powerful guide and that is your god your most high creator are you giving them that experience are you allowing them to feel that essence how do you do that how do you allow them to feel the essence how do you begin to allow them to see the essence of all there is your god your most high creator it is through you it is through your acts of obedience. It is through your righteousness that you remain obedient to your most high creator and the calling that you have upon your life, um, regardless of what that calling may be. That calling may be children. That calling may be health care. That calling may be high cosmetology. Um, that calling may be art, music, etc. Whatever it is, use your skill, skill, your gift, and your tenacity to teach because you are a shepherd we all are shepherds but it's many of us that are led to guide um that are led to guide and i am grateful to be able to share with you the life of the secret garden <laughs> this book is so amazing um i actually because it spoke to me in such a powerful way me and my daughter me and my children are going to the library this evening and we are going to get that book we're going to get that book and that is going to be our study for the next two weeks the secret garden what is the secret garden the secret garden is you the secret garden is your essence the secret garden is your god your most high creator that is the secret garden so as you go deeper within yourself enjoy the vastness the fruitness of the secret garden because it is in the secret garden that you have all that you need all that you desire all that you want most importantly you are filled with purpose you are able to guide you are able to move so the secret garden if you don't know about that book i suggest you read it um if you have children i suggest you read it with your children too because our lives are destined our lives are um, pre-planned and we can help it or we can hurt it but i am here to help you help yourself and help your family it's not just about you as an individual because we are assigned to so many people as you gain balance as you gain balance between living your life and, and being the great you even just as a secret garden the mother and the father they were this high king and queen and they shunned their child and she had to suffer because of it she found it later through trial and error and through hurt and pain but she was deprived she was deprived later fulfilled um so i challenge you i challenge you to fulfill now not later um the secret garden you are that secret garden your entire existence 
is that secret garden. So I ask you to balance. Balance living your life for you, but most importantly, balance in teaching and nurturing your children or whatever child is given to you, whether you birthed them, adopted them, uh, godparent them, whatever it is, this is your challenge to really nourish that child's soul, begin to speak life into that child's existence. Now, let me take you back to the scripture and read it to you again. It's for it's Second Corinthians chapter ten verse two. But I beg you that when I am present, I may not be bold with that confidence by which I intend to be bold against some who think of us as if we walked according to our flesh. What really comes up for me for that scripture outside of the secret garden, the book, the secret garden? What comes up to me? Your most high creator will be bold. Um, but if you are walking in your essence, if you are walking in your purpose, there will not be any boldness. Because you already know. You already feel. You already sense. But it's your responsibility to lead and guide and follow those things that you know, sense, and feel. The ones that God has to be bold are the ones who are blind, the ones who are naive, the ones who are in denial. And it's not being bold. It's just giving them that extra push that they need because maybe they don't have the strength to see the God internal essence, most high creator in themselves. So not one of us is the same. We all are different in our own way. We all walk our own path. We all walk our own journey. But it is our responsibility to nourish the God in us, the most high creator in us. And as we nourish, we turn around and we nurture the ones on the outside of us. It's equal give and take. You're not in this story <laughs> alone. When you're not doing this by yourself, you have many people that are assigned to you and it is my duty to help you see who it is that you're supposed to help. So I hope that this, this message and this video blesses you in a way. Of course, I'm going to provide you with a message. Um, let me feel for the message. Mom. Something about mother. I don't know what it is about mother that keeps coming up. Mother. Your mother. Your mother is a blessing to your journey. Whether she's alive or she's deceased. It is through your mother nudges and inkling she may have might may have not given you all the things that you needed but there were certain things that your mother gave to you that you need to pull up you try to forget it because the hurt was there but no longer is there any hurt it is your duty to go deep inside yourself to really 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 pull out those nutrients that your mother nourished into you so as you go on this day know that this message is for you um, you will know it, you will feel it, but your mother is vital to your next steps in your life. Your mother is what will help you or hinder you to go into that next realm. So dig deep inside, go further within, and find those nutrients regardless of how painful it is. And if you feel afraid to do it alone, of course I am here. Pure wisdom is here to help you, to help you heal, but I won't hold your hand. I will be honest, I will be upfront, I will share your truth with you, um, but it's your responsibility to act upon it. So if you need me, of course you know where to find me, www.purewisdominc.com or you can send me an email support s-u-p-p-o-r-t at purewisdominc.com um, you can definitely send me a message via one of our social media outlets instagram pure underscore wisdom underscore inc um, facebook pure wisdom or you can send me a message directly from our youtube pure wisdom global of it is i it is me it is she i pray that your day is blessed I pray that your day is prosperous. I pray that you will continually be protected in all that you do. Know that pure wisdom loves you and God loves you too.